In this video, I'm going to show you how to manually generate a church directory for print or email in ChurchTrack. Before you begin, make sure everyone in your church is added to your database in the People screen and verify that each person's information is up to date. So scroll through the list of names on the left and make sure no one is missing. And on the right, as you click through each person's name, make sure all their fields of information are up to date, like their member status and their contact information. Once you have verified everyone in your database is up to date, your first step, step number one, is to create a new smart list. So click the smart list tab at the top of the screen, then click the new smart list button at the bottom of the screen. Now when you come up with a name for the smart list, I recommend using something very simple. I'm going to call this directory church directory. In this new list, set the criteria to include whoever needs to be on the directory. You can use any criteria you want. For my list, I'm going to require that their member status equals member, and that their active status equals yes, because I want only active members added to my church directory. Now, after establishing your church directory smart list, click the reports tab at the top of the people screen. This is step number two. The first thing you'll do on this screen is scroll to the bottom left-hand corner, and in the Choose Who to Include section, select the new smart list that you just created. You have to select the smart list you just created. Now, there are two menus in the Reports tab with reports that can serve your purpose of creating a church directory. In the first menu, General Reports, there's the Individual List, Family Names Report, Detailed Individual Report, and Detailed Family Information Report. And in the Members Directories menu, there is a Simple Family Directory, Individual Directory, and Picture Directory. Which report you choose depends entirely on your preference. Each report features different information and a different layout. We recommend you generate each of these reports so you can see what information each report includes and determine which one is best for you to use for your church directory. However, the reports in the member directories menu were tailored toward what churches typically look for in a church directory. I recommend you check those out first. And that's how you create a church directory and church track. Have a blessed day.